You're gonna wanna hear this. Hey guys, it's Dustin here. I've got Jessica alongside me and we're gonna pull 39 eBay orders. So let's get to it. Smooth the transition. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and get over to the media first real fast here. We got 39 orders to pull. We've got so much, so much, so much going on right now. And we just sold this as for the Game Boy. It would be right here. So this is Kirby's Dreamland 2 with manual. Woo woo. Oh, that sold for $42.99 just now. We sold WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2009 on the PS3. Um, recurring buyer, repeat customer reached out, was like, hey, can you do 12 bucks on it? And it was priced only at $13.49. So I was like, yeah, sure. And that's the story. He accepted the offer, obviously, because he asked for it. We sold Lizzie's story, uh, the Stephen King book here for $9.99, and that's the red one right there. So not a ton of profit there with media mail and stuff. We'll make something, but I think we have like a dollar into it or so. We G sold- Gigi's picture. Where's that? It's right here oh. in the stack. Okay, so we've got uh, Gigi Edgley, and she played a character on the show Farscape. And what did we sell that for? $19.99? $19.99. And it was an autographed picture. This is from the same sale that I picked up the Pokemon box. She came into the show, I think, like season two or three when the blue woman left. But, yep, that sold there for $19.99. Glad to see that go. Uh, Richard Scary's Busy Town for the Sega Genesis, which is right here. And this sold for $14.95. You skipped a book. Oh, I did. The Encyclopedia Lego and right Star Wars. There. I said all the words out of order. Lego Star Wars <laughs> character encyclopedia sold right here for $17.99. It has an exclusive minifig in it, Han Solo. Ooh. Wearing the medal from the Yavin ceremony for anybody that knows or cares. All right. <laughs> we got Oakage, Shadow King. We should have a couple copies of this. Uh, PlayStation 2. I think we've sold one since then, but... Oh. Oh, it's right here. Then Then this is the one. All right, so it is sold for $15.99. We sold Clue Mousetrap Perfection. Okay, a bunch of board games on the DS. The 3DS, I think. No. No? Oh, it's no, right you're here. right. It's regular DS. And that sold for $10.99. We sold the Wii Nunchuck. For ten ninety five. That's just gonna be in a random. Oh, uh, we'll figure that out thing. later. We'll come back to it. We sold the N sixty four. Okay, so we got Donkey Kong on the N sixty four in box. No expansion packs. Sweet. And this sold for ninety nine ninety nine. This was from the Lifetime Video Game pickup. So this is a pretty cool lot here of games. We sold three to one person, so they could get the ten percent. Ah, and we sold. I'm looking for Pirates of Dark Water right there. This was a really cool cartoon. I actually do remember this cartoon when growing up. Uh, not every, not a lot of people do, but definitely a cool and actually really good cartoon from back in the day. And it had a video game release on both the SNES and Sega Genesis. So uh, that's the Super Nintendo version, of course, right there. We also so sold Super Adventure Island right here. There we go. And Batman Forever on the Sega Genesis with manual, which is right here. And that ended up being, with the bulk of it being uh, Pirates of Dark Water was the bulk of his purchase. $134.97. So real quick, guys, like you are, you're going to want to hear this. So... There was something that actually happened to a big video game reseller that some of you guys might know, known as DK Oldies. And <laughs> what actually happened was they sold a copy of Pocky and Rocky, according to a Reddit post at the very least. And when the person went in to put the game into Super Nintendo, the actual picture shows like a Superboy, which is like the handheld version aftermarket deal. It actually ended up being, which we have a copy of it over here, uh, like $10 game or something populous, which I had it as a kid. It's actually a fun game. But that aside, so Pocky and Rocky is like a $400 something dollar game, puts that in, and Populous starts playing What the Heck, 
what happened was we don't know if like who did it but somewhere along the line somebody opened up the cartridge and potentially swapped the boards or something so if you have cartridge based games that you're picking up and at the very least like if you don't check it on site you're probably going to want to check it before you flip it because if you don't put this in a Super Nintendo and this says Pirates Dark Water, like a hundred dollar game, and you ship it out and it ends up being Super Mario Brothers or Super Mario World, uh, that's like what, twenty dollar game? Somebody could be pretty upset with you and they're gonna be able to open a case, they're gonna be able to hit you with negative feedback, and you're not probably gonna be able to do anything about it, which you can prevent by testing it and seeing, hey, is this good to go or not? Maybe even some people I, I've seen will take apart the cartridges you might not need to do that at a garage sale like if you're buying a big pile of video games for 50 bucks 100 bucks even if it's a couple boxes for two 300 whatever you probably don't need to open it up there you'll probably lose the deal honestly if you do something like that but when you get them back you do not want to send the customer the wrong game and make it look like you intentionally perhaps did that because that's going to leave just a bad taste in your customer's mouth for sure. So you definitely want to make sure all your cartridge-based games, you're adequately testing. That's my ramble. Nobody wants a scandal. Nobody wants to be DK oldies. Maybe I do. I don't know. How much money do they make a year? Maybe I do want to be them. Somebody will take that out of anyway. context. Anyway. So we sold the great courses, which is... Do, 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 do. Oh, it's over there. You grab that. Uh, <laughs> Night. Art of... Mathematical argument. 1999, guys. On that, this stack's getting a little hefty. I'll take that stack. I can't take it all, actually. You're fine. It's fine. No, there's a piece left behind. This is in the way. Oh, the camera's still on me. Yeah. Okay. Got this look camera like work here. Gotta look like I'm happy. We also, jeez, that is not, doesn't really matter. We also sold this my pillow here, and this is a recent pickup by me for like seven dollars or something that we had into it. We sold it for fifty something, so that's pretty cool, and it was super quick. I mean, I don't know what your opinion is about the guy or whatever, and I, I mean, honestly, I just knew somebody would buy it, so that's why it went on my eBay store. We Tra got trauma center. Trauma center on the Wii here. Second opinion. Not your first opinion. Eleven ninety nine. All right, and we sold Tekken on the PS One for twenty nine ninety nine, guys. And there we go. OG Tekken. There it is. The greatest hits version. Still pretty cool. We sold a uh, cool spot on uh, the Sega Genesis for nine ninety nine. We sold, that's for later, Lord of the Rings. We sold FIFA Street 3. And it's not all media, guys. We are a little bit media heavy right now, but we have some other good stuff to show you in a little bit. Sold this for $11.99 on the PS3. We sold The Simpsons Wrestling on the PS1. And right here. And that sold for $29.99, guys. We sold had another Simpsons game, The Simpsons Road Rage. On the PS2. Yes. You can do it. Is it the greatest hits? Nope, it's the black label. We sold that for $14.99. We sold Farming Simulator 19 for $15.99 on the PS4. And another great courses. Discrete Mathematics for $15.99. No, we can just take that oh. back. Oh, well, let's go. Come on, Moose. We have that book to find. The Institute. Maybe sold for $19.99. Nope, $14.99. So that sold for $14.99, guys. Um, what else do we have to come back to? The Wee Nunchuck? Yeah, that's, which sold for ten ninety five. That's just gonna be a random in our in our. Uh, okay, so we'll pick that up pile. later. 
But we did sell it, promise. We did sell... Um, HBA? Well, it was a bowl. We sold uh, some HBA too. So. Oh. Well, here, you take this real quick. She didn't want to ship all three of them together, so decided they would be three listings. As you can see, we're not keeping up with the listing challenge. We're going to get there, though. We're currently at 217 out of 1,000. That's because... We For had, our monthly listing challenge. We had family over yesterday. and Blame, blame family. That's blame, what you always do. Blame family. Because they totally don't watch this. Okay. We sold Bath and Body Aromatherapy Cozy Cinnamon and Sandalwood for $16.99. That one? And then we sold... I don't think that's... I think that might be an HBA-wise. I think you might be right. No, yeah. Yankee Candle I is a... a that's a... Yeah. But this is actually a pretty clean Pyrex. It was a pretty clean set. I mean, it's not perfect, but... It's a nice primary color bowl here. And then... We're gonna go ahead and get into the pulling here. We got LR6, which I have no clue where that went. It's back, back that there. way, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Mario hat. It's a me. $12.99. So there's this thing going on TikTok where it's like people are saying he's actually saying like some Japanese word and it's not it's a me. Apparently that's false, guys. It's still it's a me, a Mario. <laughs> Do not Let listen. the internet tell you. Do not otherwise. listen to TikTok. Uh, we have Meryl, unless it's my TikTok, we have Meryl's in 22, which have sold for 26 39 22 is over here. And we're going to take the, run these back real quick. So, some of you might have noticed, hey, they've got bar stools uh, right here. And a fatigue mat on the floor. What's that for? Well, this is not sponsored, but we do have our first ever whatnot stream, and it is going on on Tuesday, October tenth at seven thirty Eastern Standard Time. Seven. Excuse me. October tenth at seven p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know, like this. So what's going to actually happen? Because I do want to mention it to you guys because my. Last video, I decided to compete against the NFL, which was kind of silly, and uh, <laughs> it's, it's it's getting destroyed. So because I did that, so I do just want to make sure you guys are aware of it. I got a link in the description be uh, below. I do get something if you click that, but you get something too. You get fifteen bucks of credit for the site if you're new to it and sign up for that link. That's it. I'm not gonna say anything else except for the fact that we have amazing stuff. It's all over there and stuff and I showed it in the other video, which you should watch. And it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be like a party. Not guaranteed. I'll be there. Everybody uh, wants to come and hang out with me, right? The dogs will probably not be there. Maybe one dog. One thirteen. no. Yes. You moose bias anyways. Just because he's- he rowdy. He's a terror. 113. Yeah, he's the one we want to bring to the auction. Okay, so we sold this vintage Roush <laughs> racing uh, blue pill hat. Oh, I was like, what is that? Oh, I was like, that doesn't make sense. Bob Dole sponsored hat. How do you run for president? Lose and then decide that you're gonna like take on that. I, what am I saying? Like, a, Let's stop at bin 39 while we're here. It's such a weird sponsorship, isn't it? That You're, he took or advertised commercial, what is it? Uh, 3930 Cincinnati Reds hat, it's gray. Yeah, that's the one. Cool. What's nice is when you have like 39 orders and half of it's media, it makes life so much easier. Uh, we sold genuine Kenwood car audio stereo remote, 62. So what I actually have is Rowdy down here, and he is literally just following us around, and it's totally but chill. He he can't quite see, so he kind of gets 62 slow. Sixty-two is right here. Kenwood remote will not be on top because. All right, so I found it. Woo! While we're back here, let's go to one thirty-six. It kind of makes sense, honestly, to like not do a bunch of remotes all at once because you think it would make sense to do it all at once, but then you end up with tons of remotes at the same bin and you're just digging. 
So we sold these Matchbox Collector's Edition NFL deal here. And it sold for $17.95. We already got uh, Gigi's autograph. We need... Um, the work pants, or work wear uh, bib overall. $192. These are uh, C.E. Schmidt overalls. $192. We sold these. She's grabbing those for $39.99. We already got the my pillow. We've got some Hellion horns with T. 44 costume accessory. And those would be right here. I don't remember specifically going out of my way to buy these. I think I bought them. I think I I think I bought them, but I think they came in a a bin. Oh, of, you bought them. A yeah, bin yeah. of Halloween stuff. And I, 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 I remember I was like, whatever, the spirit, so sure, kind of deal. But I think it came in a lot of a few things. And those only sold for $12.99. We sold some Merrill slippers, uh, base 180. 180 should be right here. And slippers should be easy to find. 1839, we've had them a while. And then 105 has a camera in it. And that camera is a point and shoot that sold for $134.99. Was that you? The camera? Totally me. Was it? Yeah, I think so, actually. I think you're lying. I would never. We also sold these Yankee Candle thingies. $134.99 on the camera. And the candles sold for $19.99. We got the Ohio State windbreaker here, $23.99. What will happen is if, uh, if if Jess has her way, she would never list anything I buy. That's not true. I can't reach I can't. out with all this stuff in my hands. Sometimes I list what I buy because I've already looked at it and I know what it's going on, et cetera. Did you say 27? Yes. Red wing wind windbreaker, and then a feed like in forty five. The oh, the Lord of the Rings. Yes. So we weren't a hundred percent sure where to go with these, and we ended up selling these at auction on eBay for like one twenty. And this is a set of thirty six packs, booster packs and stuff for the Lord of the Rings trading card game. You guys are gonna see some crazy stuff that I pick up. At this one sale that I've been hyping up multiple times on this channel soon. Or for, yeah, on this channel, on the Pro Picker channel. But we didn't have too much into them. It's been a pretty crazy buy. And we have multiple more to go through. So it's pretty awesome. We just sold a, a puck. 38. Exceptionally heavy. $99.99 on those boots. Red they're... oil tanned men's size 11. And, and they're heavy. We sold a model, which I, I picked this up as well at that same sale. So you guys are getting too many spoilers here, but seriously, still watch it. I buy so much crazy stuff there. And it's actually a pretty crazy story. Yeah. This one, yeah. Okay, so this sold at, I think, what, $34.99? $29.99. Oh, whatever. That's fine. One of, okay, this is the last one of those kickstands. And it sold for, I think it's $15.99. That sounds right. Where'd that model go? It's in my hands. Oh, okay. So, let's see. I think, other than the nunchuck of mystery... That's it, I think. I think that's it. And we already showed what happened with the listing challenge. We'll catch up. This sometimes happens during listing challenges. Moose is looking for something. <laughs> What'd you find? What are you finding, buddy? He's like, I want to be a star. All right, anyways. You are a star, buddy. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching today. We really do appreciate it. We've got so much work going on between the next Whatnot Show, trying to catch up on listing and 
just everything that we have going on right now. <laughs> Life. Life. <laughs> I'm actually probably going to drop this video and then I filmed another one of us doing an order pull a couple days ago and that'll probably come out after. So it'll be a little confusing from a cro uh, chronology standpoint, but I just wanted an opportunity to share the fact that A, DK always mess up, messed up and B, <laughs> that... How would uh, anybody know if you didn't point it out? <laughs> from all from the 500 other youtubers making <laughs> entire videos about it i told the story in three minutes everybody else is going to tell the story in 20 and then on top of that what else did i do oh yeah i need to mention the whatnot thing yeah. so definitely guys check out the link down there below if you've never tried out whatnot it's pretty chill we're just gonna hang out and sell some stuff but with that thank you so much for watching bye bye